Happy Friday. Welcome to Cross Weird. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Hi, Eve. How's everyone doing? Hi, Rich. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Dub. Oh, Hello my God. Horse girl. Hello, Meat. All right, Glenn. Hi, Don. Hi, AP. Hi, Slug. Hello, friends. You know what it just occurred occurred to me? You know what just occurred to me? What? We were talking before stream went live about whether or not we should celebrate after like probably a year and a half hitting 700 subscribe or what is it called on here? Now I'm confused. Followers. Followers. Yeah. And it just occurred to me that as soon as we do that, Someone would totally unfollow just to. <laughs> Someone probably already has. <laughs> already since started has. This. Exactly. I know. Anyway. Um, oh, I went to a new nice. to me restaurant tonight and it was very good. Ooh. Well, I mean, Bayan Co. Okay. I'm not familiar. Is it Filipino? I don't know. There's a new Filipino, like, diner that i would like to go to at some point oh we're at western and not lemoyne not hirsch but like between north avenue and division i forget what street oh, that is exactly yeah okay yeah um Ooh, it's filipino and cuban yummy Yum, yum. Was it good? Oh, yeah. You said it was very good. I get sent lots and lots and lots of Filipino food from my friend who is Filipina. And I... Yum. Just yum is all. She also likes to send me she anytime she goes to a family party she sends me a picture of literally every single dish one overview shot overhead <laughs> shot and then one of each individual dish and she <laughs> emphasizes that at a filipino gathering no one goes home hungry it is very important that no one ever leave hungry people leave with food there should be like 15 times the amount of food that you should reasonably have <laughs> So, yeah, and it, I mean, it checks out every time she sent me family party pictures, it is like a whole ding ding feast. Just back from five food filled days in New York City. Fun. That's nice. exciting. Hope plenty you had fun. of good food in New York City. No alleys, but plenty of food. <laughs> true. True, true. I will say, though, like, not, this sounds, like, shitty, maybe, but, like, every time I've traveled within the United States, or, like, I don't know, maybe this is not as true for international travel, but it's, like, there, there are always good food recommendations, but then it's, like, uh, I mean, we live in a city with a ton of great food. Like, right. it's, that's usually not a super exciting part of travel for for me but because we yeah. have a lot at our fingertips here which is lucky hi pity cap hi pity cap it's been a while good to see you thanks for coming in thanks for rating in um how have you been yeah welcome in how are you i have my eye on an ethiopian restaurant ap are you talking about for your impending move to chicago it's called Lucy. We certainly are. Pity. I, th I was going to guess Demera. Yes, it's true. We really are. Hi, Rose. Um, you do too in Atlanta. Yeah. Hi, Rose. So many Chicago or former Chicago people in chat right now. That's true. It. That is true. Yes, uh, we are both relatively well i mean i won't speak for you are you well 
I'm relatively well. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would say same. Hey, guess what happened today, by the way? Oh, hi, Kay. Why, Kay? Why? Why? Hi, Kay. The best Ethiopian food here is actually Eritrean and it's called Den Den. Interesting. Mm. Yay, Rose, congrats. Oh, Rose, that is tremendous. What are you going to do with yourself? Can we expect some crosswords at some point during this month, maybe? No pressure. No, just wondering. No. Uh, <clears throat> by the way, can I say the the exciting thing that happened to me today? Of course. Guess who was favored by the wheel? What? Me. I was favored by the wheel. I think it. I think it was wheelofnames.com, but I won. <laughs> I won a YouTube giveaway, and it was like she showed the wheel spinning on her video this woman oh and yeah the wheel blessed me so thank you wheel glory be to that said yes it's basically just a gift card to go buy something so if anyone it's it's she literally just venmoed me (laughs) was like please spend this on nail stuff so (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so if anyone has any requests, anything they want to see reviewed by drugs, I know, right? Then I'll do a haul of my drugs. (laughs) Here are my mushrooms. Here's my molly. This is the, um, actually, I mean, it's only, it was a mini, it was her mini giveaway, so it's 50 bucks. I don't know how much drugs I could buy with that. I don't really do a lot of drugs anymore. Mom's Molly Corner. Come with me while I brush my teeth incessantly because it feels cool. Anyone remember that reference? Do you remember that reference? Uh, I don't think so. Should I? Yeah, remember the first time I tried Molly in high school? Meat remembers. Thank you, Meat. And it was at a sleepover. (laughs) That sounds so bad. (laughs) But we were spending the night at a friend's house who, like, had the whole basement to herself. And her parents were home. They were just, like, watching a movie. And someone went up to brush their teeth. And was up for upstairs in the bathroom for a long time and came back down and reported that apparently brushing your teeth is the coolest feeling you'll ever experience in your whole life. Like it feels amazing. And so then each of us, one by one, went upstairs to brush our teeth for like ever and like just walked out past your parents, like, hey, <laughs> then walked downstairs. <laughs> I remember and then the next this part one was of the brushing story. their teeth for like 15 minutes. Oh my god. Should have been really obvious something was up because we were like, you know, delinquent teenagers. We weren't performing extreme oral care at a sleepover for uh, for like a half an hour in the bathroom one by one looking ridiculous. They probably knew. I don't know. They were actually her dad was the one who I, I may have told this at the time too, but I was always the decoy because I was the one that would could could bear and could continue a conversation, could bear to have a conversation and could con- keep the conversation going with her dad, who was a history buff. So I would just go and wa- watch, like or watch. I would go and ask, like a, tell me about the war, you know, the Bay of Pigs. I don't know, and he would just. He was a big stoner, too, so he would just talk and talk and talk, and then someone else would sneak in and take some pot out of his sock drawer while I was doing that. Anyway, I was a delinquent child, okay? (laughs) It's a thing. So good you grew out of it, though. Yeah, right? (laughs) I mean, I was always, like, both a delinquent and, like, a nerd. So it was kind of, you know, I don't know. It was just a little bit of both, which is fine. 
like I was on the debate team. I was a competitive debater, but I was also like kind of a delinquent. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a thing. <laughs> Honestly, pity, it's probably for the best. It is probably for the best. Um, anyway, oh, also, we won't be streaming tomorrow, um, and the reason we won't be streaming tomorrow is because I will be giving a child a manicure. <laughs> I was telling Dob this before we went live, but she texted me via her mother's phone. Hi, this is her name. When you do our nails, are you going to do a video? If you wanted to, my mom said it was okay as long as it was only my hands. Na painting nail emoji, smiley face emoji. Man in a disguise with sunglasses, a fake nose, and a mustache emoji. And then bemused straight face emoji. <laughs> and earlier... Her mom had texted me, thank you so much for doing this. She's so pumped that a YouTube star is coming to her house. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and by the way, I've known this child since she was zero. Like, literally zero. So, this is not a stranger coming to her house. This is, like, basically her aunt. <laughs> anyway, kids are so cute and so silly. So, yeah. It is adorable. It is cute. I'm excited. But yeah, we're not going to be able to stream. We'll put something in the Discord as well. But we'll be back on Sunday. Um, well, what do you think? Should we... Anything else to talk about? Does anyone have anything they'd like to discuss? Um, you want to talk about what we're going to do? I'll find some music. Sure. We're going to do the LA Times, which today is by Katie Hale. And um, Samantha Poros Novak, Novak, maybe. Um, and then we are going to talk about Lego extensively. Just kidding. No, we're not. But you can if you want, Glenn. Um, then we're going to do... A Cryptic by Will Eisenberg, which is supposed to be like a New Yorker style, so it should be pretty quick. And then really the only thing else we have planned for this evening is um, is to play What's the Music, which, if you don't know, is a really fun... It's not quite music trivia, but I don't know what to how to summarize this game. It's a music game. <laughs> You get, you get, you hear snippets of songs and you have to guess what they are. Yeah. But people choose the songs based on a theme. Right. It's um, fun. It is very fun. Yeah. Ooh, Rose, you're excited. Okay, we're excited. Ooh, Rich. Nice. I have a feeling where this is going. Normally, I, I would oh. guess our music leak playlist, Musically? but I have a feeling this is going to be something else. Oh. That's what I thought. New Carly. Sure thing, nice. Rich. I cannot wait to take a shower. All right. Um let me um let me share my screen with you moms and then I'll share with everybody else. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me know when you can see. I uh I can see. All right. Say the thing. Away we go. Shred. 
Uh, could be a couple things. Built in part. What? Like what? I had to think for a second about what we were solving and how hard it might be, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, built in part of a camisole, maybe. Bruh. Menu item, food, a dish, perhaps. Yeah, Mark, who won the Masters in the British Open in 1998. Uh, Els, that's the only golfer I can think of. Um, oh, wait, no. O- Omira is the other golfer I remember being in puzzles. Nice. Uh, Blank Palmas de Gran Canaria. Canaria. Maybe Los or Las or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. Well, let's see. Crater, crater creator. Blast? I don't know if that quite makes sense. I think it does. Soapbox derby entrant. Racer, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Um, shoot. Ask. Ask. Uh, feature of a jean jacket with a snowflake design. He drew a jean um, jacket with a snowflake design. Oh, well, this is a themer. Okay, right. I don't know. Right. Okay. Nerve fibers. Mm, not sure. I don't know Let's if it's over here. I don't ever remember. Yeah. I think this is probably Essex, right? Essex County. Yeah. Could be. So not dish. Um, menu item. I mean, it could be like. Even oh, like it could be file. file. That's true. All right. We both said it. We should put it in. Feature of butt, but not butt. <laughs> <laughs> a butte is like a mountain thing, right? Or Long something. U. Oh, good job. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Spanish tykes. Ninos. Nice. Hole in one. Uh, nerve. I guess it axons? is axons. Nice. Property that may depreciate in accounting. Uh, fixer upper. Um, settle a score is avenge. Mm-hmm. Pew areas. Um, Knaves? No, that's not a thing. I don't know. Yeah, what are they? Many a madman role, maybe add rep. Uh, bear uh, on a star so chart. Sad. Oh, so it's not. Yeah, I think it might be fixed something. Yeah, fixer upper doesn't actually make sense because that wouldn't depreciate, no, it right? Doesn't. Like, no. So maybe it's not fixer. Well, um, it's an accounting, not like. Oh, right. Fixed. I don't, I don't know. know. Okay, knaves. Uh, what's this? French dessert for a romantic date? Um, Might be de do, like two of two. Pastry de do? I don't know. Oh, like four Sorry two in pastry for, for two. My pronunciation. Okay. Arizona City, Yuma. Introductory offer. It me? I don't know. Probably huh. not. Okay, so Ursa fixed uh, plus or minus. Maybe it's fixed asset and it's sign. Plus or minus sign. I don't know if that makes sense either, but... I think it does. Uh, higher education test. GRE. GRE. Empire State paper. I guess it could be that. Assailed is. I don't know. Hmm. Hand woven textile. That's a big source of comfort. Something tapestry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Georgia airport code. Maybe ATL introductory. Same name. Yeah, there you go. December, New Year's Eve. Uh, spool, a reel, I reel. guess? Mm-hmm. Frosh, probably. Um, teen. Maybe teen. Yeah. Overhead projection. 
I want that to be like Halo or something, but yeah. Um, Monty of the 1950s Giants. Oh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Wayfarer Maker. Ray Ban. Oh, nice. Mortgages, for example. Loans. Loans. Blank Sacks. Base. Base. Uh, feature of a jean jacket, uh, patchy back or something. Um, n- n- I don't what. Yeah, I don't know. Flub is air. <laughs> Needlework. I mean, it could be like tats or something. I guess shred. Yeah, it could be tatter. I don't know. Beach blanket often. Towel uh, does make sense. Maybe it is tatter. And maybe ta- uh, wintry back. Yeah, so how does this work? Do we know? I don't theme? know. No, I don't. Uh, feature yeah. of a jean jacket with a snowflake design. I mean, the hmm. back of it is wintry. I don't know if... Uh, big heads. Uh, Egos? Yeah. Uh, compañera. Um, I don't know, amiga. Yeah. yeah. Hotel... Do blank Anita Bruckner novel. Uh, Not sure. Common time ten o'clock. Nice. Scent. Uh, odor. I don't know. <laughs> eh, this happens a lot. Oh, it's nothing. Or yeah. Hmm. Orchard fruit. Oh, uh, hmm. is it not pastry? Pear. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, everything has looked okay. But... <laughs> uh, okay. Burrow. Um, ass, I ass. think. Yeah. Fifth Avenue icon. Sex. Yeah. What? Uh, Michael Collins actor. I mean, maybe that's this guy. Security tapestry? Like a security blanket? Mm hmm. Okay. So, security blanket. Aroma. Oh, must. That looks oh, bad. I, this, think it I don't think it's not... this wrong. Yeah. Oh, leans? leans? Maybe. There you go. <laughs> I'm. Uh... <laughs> Overhead projection. Um. Oh, interesting. Hi, Bagel. You must have just gotten here. Um, oh, interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh, oh ow. Group Sorry, that oversees tablets. Don't oh, know. I wonder what that's going to be. Uh, restaurants with stacks. Larve. I hops. Uh, I hops. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I forget what did one hop or something? What it what happened when you tried when you oh yeah meant to I say don't I even hop? Remember anyone. Okay, one pa- one house of pancakes. <laughs> International house of pancake. Get a move on. Uh, hustle probably. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. Is it tree? I was wondering actually before if it was tree. Maybe it's Irene. I don't know. Mm. Going down. Uh, change is hmm. uh, this French stuff. Uh, Hunter on a star chart. Orion. Nice. What is this, though? Maybe it's not hustle or it's okay. not treat. Ellen doesn't look great. Uh, Highlander's pattern. Plaid. Nice. Um, change is might not be um, tree. Well, it's definitely not hustle if these are right either. No. Um, email status sent. What? I'm sorry. Who's controlling today? 
<laughs> wow, I must, rude. Yeah, this happens a lot. I must. Maybe it's not tree, and it's not I must. I don't know. Yeah, that okay, feels weird. maybe. I'm. I'm you I'm used to it. I'm used, to, I'm used it, to it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's also. <laughs> Uh, although yeah. this no, uh, I don't know. I don't. Uh, well, um, yeah, I could be wrong on something too. Is Orion wrong? Uh, made in Japan. I mean, Asian. Asian. Uh, maybe it's haste, hasten, <laughs> not hustle. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That um, change is amend. Or Eman, but probably oh, right. a, yeah. Overhead Eve? Yeah. Uh maybe Irvin. Mm-hmm. Uh group that oversees tablets. iPad Ministry. Ministry? Hmm. Okay. TikTok aesthetic. Etsy hey boy. somehow. I know. Okay. <laughs> Assailed is be wait. Be set. Oh, right. That word. We. Itsy bitsy. bitsy. Needing a sweep. Wait. What? Sooty. Oh, wow. Okay. Good job. Uh, Happy birthday, Iave. Iave. Happy birthday, Iave. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Bagel, for it. Thank you the for the bit. bit. Lid woe. Lid woe is a sty. Faye Dunaway. Uh, brand name for Orida. Mm-hmm. Um, go on. Take a taste. Or an apt title for this puzzle. Take a taste. Oh, have try. The- they all have try in it. Oh, yeah. Give mm-hmm. it a Give give it a yeah, try. Yeah, give it a. Tr- yep, yep. You got it. Nice. Woodruff's co-anchor. Uh, um, I don't know. No okay. idea. Flamenco cry. Uh, Olay. Mm-hmm. Control saved. Nice. Eiffel. Ooze is goo. Part of a bridal quartet. Something old that thing mm-hmm. yeah places for addresses deuses um, deus. how the heck like this no yeah probably yeah that looks yeah. so much like daisies i know it's not sunshade mm-hmm. uh in spite of all that and, and yet, yet right half permission mayest whoa nice Latvian seaport. Riga? Is that where Riga is? Second Mm -hmm. something is agree, and there we have it. Hey, we did it. Doity. Um, Bam, indeed. Nice job. Okay, so give it a try. You're giving... Yep. And... Uh, pas de do. I mean, I don't know what that is, but yeah, what is pas de do? French speakers, perhaps you know, a mistake of two. I don't know. I know, faux oh, like pas, a faux pas, right? Actually, I don't know. Well, I'm making that up. I don't know what pas means on its own. It's a dance, it's a dance move. Dance move. Did not see that coming. Uh, security tapes and iPad minis. Nice. Way to go, Katie. Way to go, Sam, Antha. Sam, <laughs> Antha. Is, is Sam, Sam, you never want to assume name. someone wants to go by their nick, the nick, common nickname. Sure. Yeah. Um, nice job, you two. Well done. Yeah, very cool. Round of applause. Woohoo! It was hard to figure out what what the gimmick was like obviously it was gonna equal something real once something happened to it but i really was not i was not seeing it i expected kelsey to have a response i know kelsey knows french 
Um, nice. Hey, let's do another puzzle. Yeah. Uh, I don't think LeBron is here, but... Was there another synopsis, by the way? Oh, we can check. I don't... I actually have no idea. I mean, I guess Glenn didn't say there was, but... Oh, this is new, isn't it? Yeah, hey, I think this is new. let's do it. Because I feel like probably this Thanks, is going to be a shorter, like, puzzle part of yeah. the stream until... <gasps> music so <gasps> hi and listen to what's on oh my goodness wow hi kim hi kim it's very nice to see you uh all right <clears throat> synopsis you, read, if you don't you know like uh oh i'm always happy if you want to read i'll okay. i'll just explain oh, sure. what it is for anybody who sure. maybe hasn't played uh this is created by Glentifer there. Uh all right, Glenn. Uh uses Chat GPT to combine two different movies plots into one, and you have to guess which two movies. Yep. Um so Moms will read this combined plot summary and we'll give some guesses. Moms, take yep. it away. All right. <sighs> In this thrilling adventure, a crew of explorers embarks on an unexpected journey through the galaxy. Led by a brave and unconventional individual, they are determined to uncover the hidden magic that holds vast potential for both peace and chaos in the universe. Their mission intertwines with the tumultuous tale of, soli of a solitary creature who unexpectedly becomes the guardian of a cherished artifact, turning their world upside down. <laughs> Chicken run. <laughs> Our unlikely hero's idyllic life is shattered when their swamp planet is endangered by mysterious forces that seek possession of the artifact, which possesses immense power beyond their, beyond their comprehension. Forced to leave their secluded abode, our hero ventures forth with a band of eclectic companions traversing alien landscapes, shimmering with futuristic technology contrasted by fantastical realms rooted in enchantment. It definitely does seem like Lord of the Rings is a good option. My precious. That whole thing. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, <laughs> they, they are very similar, uh, which... Yeah, they're... Um, yeah. Their mission intertwines. So Rich says so cool. The Fellowship of the Ring and the um, Star Trek movie Empire Strikes Back. Okay, why don't we try that? <laughs> Kim, I can't tell if you're joking, but thank you if you're not. And thank you if you are. <laughs> okay, well, it is uh, Fellowship of the Ring. No, it's not. No, you're right. I'm sorry. You're, you're right. Uh, but it's, from, it's a movie from 2001, and then a movie between... 1981 and 2000. Interesting. I think there's a mosquito in here. I don't know. It's very much bothering me. So I see rabbits. So is it a different Lord of the Rings then? It just feels a lot like Lord of the Rings. Is this a cat? Might be a squirrel. It doesn't look like a cat to me. It's a or a bunny. They're all rabbits. No, I don't think Lord of the Rings is correct. Just two thousand one is correct. Oh no, I think they're Can responding to me because oh. I asked if it. Okay. Stuart Little. <laughs> oh, it's not fantasy. How is that possible? Oh, oh look, adventure. prepare for an unforgettable outer dimensional adventure where sci-fi meets enchantment and chat and what? Why can I say that enchantment in a galaxy not so far, far away? Hmm. So slug, one of the years is right, but both of the movies we picked are wrong. Just to be clear. Because the movie column is white. If it were orange, that would mean one is right. I mean, it could be Return of the Jedi, I suppose. 
because it's after 1980, if we still like the Star Wars angle. And then one of the movies is for sure 2001. Yeah, that's what it means, Slug, is that even though we guessed a movie that was 2001 and it's not... Did I just say Slug? What? Oh, no, no. Bagel said Shrelk. (laughs) Slug! Did I just say Slug? Oh... Mm. Um, no, so it means that, yeah, just, okay, you got it. All right, never mind. (laughs) Shlug. Oh, that's, I don't know why that tickles me so. Shrek. Yeah. All right, maybe it's Shrek. And then something between 81 and 2000. Do we want to try Return of the Jedi? Although I would, th- they would probably list a Star War as sci-fi. sci-fi. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why are there bunnies? That is confusing. We, well, oh, we don't. Bagel? I thought we do because 2001 is above. Oh boy. Here oh, I no, thought yeah, I might have just... finally understood, but I don't. <sighs> Why am I so bad at understanding things? No, it's okay. It's complicated. Mm. Why does it have this galaxy not so far, far away situation? Uh, <laughs> no heart. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, slug. Um, I mean, do you want to read it again, number one, for a second here? I don't think we need to read it. I mean, Hidden Magic. I mean, if if anybody wants to read it again, it's on the screen and you can read it again. Yeah, if there were... So does Shrek have to do with a solitary creature who's cherishing... Who's the guardian of a cherished artifact? I don't remember Shrek well enough. It's the Hobbit. Guardians of the Galaxy. You want to try Hobbit? Sure. It does feel a lot like a Lord of the Rings situation. Okay. Oh. Shrek is right. Right. So now we know the second movie is between 81 and 2011. Right. (laughs) Fiona is a cherished artifact. All right, I will read this aloud. As they journey through uncharted territories, adversity strikes when encounters with otherworldly beings challenged even the bravest hearts. Uniting strength and wit, the crew learns compassion from each other, discovering that acceptance can dissolve boundaries between species and cultures alike. Amidst studying, studying, <laughs> amidst studying cosmic anomalies and captivating celestial battles, they encounter Bubs. diverse creatures and civilizations, steadily uncovering secrets that surpass anything conceived during their previous lives aboard familiar starships. Should I keep going? Yes. Touched by moments of betrayal, exploration twists into redemption as vulnerabilities bond the seemingly disparate groups together. Love flourishes, destinies entwine, and an unexpected friendship blossoms that could unravel all known understanding of time and existence. As alliances form and spectrums collide, every interaction shapes planetary fates and tests the limits of trust. Under glowing constellations against cascade lullabies. Why is this getting like Christopher walken all of a sudden? I don't know. An extraordinary epic unfolds where honor is tested, darkness is confronted, and the power of unity propels them closer to untamed horizons whispered only in dreams. Dreams. Very good notes. Man, that applause. was horrible. Sorry, everyone. Zootopia? It is not Zootopia. 
I don't um, know anything. What else have people said? B movie. We had Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Does this AI think Shrek is a bunny? Or is the other movie about bunnies? Because it's before 2012, meet. There needs to be space. Yeah, it is sci-fi. We're missing sci-fi, right? Sci-fi is not mentioned. Yeah, oh, right. We haven't guessed. Well, it is on the second one. It's like a sci-fi adventure. Yes. The prompt for the scene was, in a whimsical sci-fi world, star-crossed experience. Star-crossed explorers encountered long-eared green creatures surrounded by fairy tale land magic. But it's well, sci-fi? Long-eared oh, no, long green eared creatures? Green, that, those, like that's Shrek. Oh, I think that's yeah, Shrek, Shrek, right? Yes. And fairy tale land magic is Shrek, too. Shrek. I'm sorry. Mm. All right, so between 81 and 2011. Is it Star Trek? Hey! Hey, we did it! Good job, Rich. Nice job. Hey, that's Shrek. The Shrek. Star Shrek. Nice, Rose. Captain Shrek. <laughs> Captain Saint- Shrek. Yeah, yeah, Saint Third K. Star Chantica. Voyage to Farquad Delta. Very good. Nice job, everybody. So smart. Yep. You really mm. are. Oh, Moms. We're what? already down to six ninety nine. I think somebody did what you thought. Oh, <gasps> somebody unfollowed. Can't the betrayal. I know. Do you have any guesses who it was? No. Okay. Um, I do. I mean, there's one ob- super obvious guess. Is that who you right. think it is? Okay. <laughs> We're thinking the same person. <laughs> um, That's fun, Kelsey. <laughs> that, is yep, who, we were right. that is who we were thinking. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. This is Will Eisenberg's blag. Uh, Half-baked puzzles.blogspot.com here's a link to the actual post uh, for tonight hi friends here today with a bard cryptic style that's shamelessly cribbed from the New Yorker cage mate nice oh, LeBron Swanson hello sir Aww, hi Will maybe Will is former horse girl 12 Oh, that I feel like that would be a plot twist. It'd be interesting. Considering it's definitely bagel. All right. The oh. New Yorker's cryptics are some of the easiest American cryptics around, which I think is a real resource for newer solvers. With enough experience setting cryptics to feel like I can make one that's truly easy, it's much easier to make an impossibly hard cryptic than a very straightforward one. I'm throwing my head into the ring. Let me know what you think, especially if you're less experienced with cryptics. I'd love to do more of these. Um, thanks to Nora, Steve, and Chris for help in testing this one. That would be Nora Sharp, Steve Mossberg, and Chris Evans. Not that Chris Evans. Uh, and... Uh, LeBron always posts uh, something that looks delicious, and uh, it's apple panna today, and there it is. 
That cast iron pan. Ooh, yummy. That looks delicious. Yim yum. Oh, interesting results so far. Oh, mm. it's a close one. Three to two. Mm. I'm impressed by how clean the oven is. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Cleaning ovens is kind of fun. Is it one of those self cleaning ovens, Will? Like, for anyway. instance, as someone oh, who's sucks. rented for a while, I didn't realize that you're supposed to be able to see through the glass, <laughs> like, easily. Like, it's supposed to be, like, literally clear. No, no. Kelsey, please be safe. Drink some water. Sure, Glenn. Fly me out. I'll come over and clean your oven. I've been laying on the floor kind of drunk this whole time. Oh. <laughs> Careful getting up. Don't don't stand up too fast. Um, all right. <clears throat> uh delicious will. I could look at this all night, but instead we're going to do your puzzle. <laughs> yeah. So, should we agree that we're not going to say the parse out loud or we're not going to say it out loud cuz it'll probably go really quick. If so, I can say the answer. I mean, oh, I just realized our first puzzle was on green. Whoops, nobody said anything. Hmm. Um, where we're not going to say it out loud. What are you saying? I'm saying, can you, if you know the answer, can you not say it right away? Oh, oh, to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, one across. Medieval farmer devours hot game bird. Oh, I'm just getting some paper. One second. Gee. So are we looking for a medieval farmer that is taking in an H? Yes. You got that fast. Why can't I think of the medieval farmer? I'm sorry, Mom. Clearly, it's a sicken. What? You're sorry? Well, you seem disappointed that I got it fast. Oh, <laughs> that's quite all right. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Momes. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. Give me a hint. It's a word meaning medieval farmer and it and then an H going into it. And it means the answer is that a joke? means game bird. Yeah. Um Is that a joke? I would say Thanks it's like the most well known game bird. I would say that most people when you say game bird would think of this bird. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, I never think of that. A pheasant. You just thought of it. So good job. Wow. What did you eat today? Your Wheaties? Full of jokes for me. Okay, continue. <laughs> okay. We we do have proof it's bagel now. Um why? Uh all right, one down. Journalists push for answers, perhaps. Push for answers. Oh, gee. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, deck. yes, I do. Yeah, no, it's press. Nice. 
Uh, very nice. All right. Some melanin provides flair. G. Uh, Elon. Yep. And DDH. Sure is. Just in the word melanin. Those are always like kind of surprising. I'm always expecting two words. Two Not words. always, but often. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> who knows me? I'm sure it's definitely not. Um, three down. Cooler northeastern spots. E. Cute. LeBron. Mm -hmm. Acne. Cooler AC. Northeastern and E. Spots. Acne. Very good. 11 across. Drop off food waste upon reflection. Okay. G. Hmm. Why is Dob convinced I am bagel? I will say he knows better. Oh, I have a guess now. That's not bagel. When. All right, drop off. Food waste upon reflection. So I assume it's a term for food waste going backward. And mm -hmm. the straight def is drop off. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a term for food waste. Oh. More like an example of it. Wow. Nice meat. I've never owned Crocs. Yeah, I'm always. You want to post a picture curious, of the ones you uh, ordered? Uh, I don't know. You want to give me a hint? Sure. Um, I mean, so food waste. You know that it's a word for a type of food waste upon reflection. So, what do you think that S means? That's right. How'd you get that? Just random. I got two down while I was trying to get 11 across. <laughs> okay. Um, why the heck drop off? It's kind of a tricky definition, but it's a peel. It's a, yeah. Oh, drop off sleep? Mm-hmm. People say drop off to mean sleep? Like not off? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I dropped off. Hmm. Okay, you can put this in. I also have a... Okay. Uh... Hello. Hello. Hospitals H permit is allow. Um, let's try to get this long one. Partner boxes famous Greek. Oh no! Yeah, I think it's. I think that's what it is. Somebody's gonna be mad. <laughs> oh no! Somebody already is. Yeah. <laughs> so great. So significant other is partner boxes are greats and meat's favorite philosopher is the famous Greek in question. Oh, well, oh boy. Will. Oh dear. Does meat ever. Oh boy. Here we go. I know, Will. It's like you just got here. 27 <laughs> I months I can imagine sub. me yelling that, too. <laughs> oh, I bet I bet they did. 
There's a vein popping out of their forehead right now. <laughs> you are over, Will. All right, four down, three, three. Uh, after receiving good grade, March Honoree did nothing more. G. Also G. St. Pat with an A inside. Sat Pat. Very good. Yep. This is very good so far, Will. Yeah, this I is, would this, say it lives this up This absolutely to does being... have, yeah, strong New Yorker vibes. Um, system for grading South Carolina beer. G. Scale. South Carolina, SC, AL is beer. Very good. Mm-hmm. You know um, what? We should make a command with links for easy intro cryptics, and this should be one. Sure, yeah. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, Joe's Cryptics by Steve, and then this one. Perhaps others, too. I don't know. Mm, now I want Crocs. I think just because oh here we go. Have them. I know. Yeah. Um, wide awake dancing later. Um, okay. I mean, I well, I see what's it, happening. I don't... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alert. Wide awake. Yeah. Uh, 10 across rip apart gossip with Romeo. That's right. I said Romeo. <laughs> Cute. G. Same. Tear. Rip apart. Gossip is T. Romeo in the NATO alphabet is R. Yeah, Ingrid does bars now, Glenn. No reason not to use Ingrid at this point, in my opinion. Begin cycling to get baked goods. Begin cycling. Oh, very nice, Will. G. Yes, also G. Go ahead. Uh, former horse girl, red light. <laughs> Glenn. Huh. So. All right, now, all Kim. right, I'm, yes. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Kim. So, begin is start, and cycling is where you take either, like, the first letter goes to the end, or the last letter goes up front. Um, so, it's start, but the S is moving down to the bottom. Yeah, it can cycle either way. Yeah, very smooth. Um, mm-hmm. No ice, noise. Oh, well. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, this is silly. Very good. Mm-hmm. So double deaf. <clears throat> noise is neat. And noise is also neat. Uh, 15 across. Head of school. Minuscule exam is most pleasing. G. Okay, well, it's going to start with an S. Minuscule is we sweetest. Yeah. Head of school is S. Minuscule is we. I literally just said, I don't know what I'm saying again, but exam is test. Sweetest is most pleasing. Very good. Sun, junk is junk. G. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, LeBron, that's a that's a good point. That might be not as beginner friendly, I guess. 
Uh, junk. So a four letter word for junk. But then. Wow. Huh. You want to give me a hint? Sure. Um, what kind of hint would you like? Would you rather give me a hint or we just try to get like a crosser and maybe I can get it? What would you rather do? I don't care. It's up to you. Either way. Okay, let's try to get 21 across. Maybe that'll help me. Okay. Explore improv everywhere just a bit. Uh oh. <laughs> Gee. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny. I was in my brain thinking it started with a different letter than it did because I don't know how to fill things in in my head. Yeah. Also, G. It's a hidden. DDH. Ding, ding, hidden. Um, Junk. S junk is junk. S Ugh. I don't know. Well. Um, you want a hint? Sure, why not? Okay, it's a two-part um, charade, and the deaf is on the right. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, the, the S is sun, right? Right. And then it's a four-letter word meaning junk. Mm-hmm. And so, then straight deaf is junk. Yeah, so what, the four-letter word is kind of a swear-ish, a light swear. Is that it? Strat. It's a little more of a swear than that. Oh, okay. Uh, metal, a metal type of junk might be the straight deaf. Oh, scrap. Got it. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Fuck was something that... Yep. Uh, S crap. Nice. Uh, let's go here. Pops troubles in retirement. Oh, gee. Oh, it's soda. Troubles yeah, are adus, and it's going backwards. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, 16 down. Vegas performer lives potentially. Oh. Or. Oh, gee. I don't really get it, but it's Elvis, right? It is. Yep. So how does it work? Uh, potentially is an indicator. Oh, okay. It's just an anagram. Got it. Yeah. Potentially is an interesting anagram. Everything is an anagram indicator. <laughs> uh, regret unopened gift. Gee. Uh, regret unopened gift. Um, I, all right. I, it, w on one of the sides, I assume it's a word without its first letter, right? Right. Uh, oh, resent. Nice. Yeah. Present without the P. Very nice. Clamor at hospital workplace for lunch spot. Gee. Diner. 
Dine five. Yep. Clamor is din, hospital, workplace, ER, lunch spot, diner. Firmly, 20 down, firmly state, party goer must go topless. Whoa. Gee. I think it's uh, a ver, right? Raver mm-hmm. is a party goer, but it's going without its top. It's a down clue, right. so that's its first letter. Nice. Okay. Cute. Uh, 22 across. Sounded disgusting. It might hold the solution. Gee. Vile. Yeah, a nice homophone. little homophone. Sounds like Vial, V-I-L-E. Nice. 19 across. Addressee of much holiday mail shares every letter with Satan. <laughs> That's interesting. So, like, this is not an anagram, but it is an anagram. Do you have a yeah, name for this I type mean, of clue? I guess it, it is, is a nice just surface. it is just an anagram, right? Because you have to share every letter to be an anagram, right? I guess so. Yeah, it's not like a Venn diagram. Yeah, it's an anagram, just a very literal one. Yeah, that's really cool. It's a nice like way to describe it. I do think there's something neat about like people using very natural language to describe things in cryptic clues. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to explain that better. It's like not really like an indicator with a capital I, but like just describing exactly what you're trying to ask the solver to understand, you know? Right. I don't yeah. know. Um, okay, 14 down. Manor of Egypt or Estonia? G. Cute. G. It is estate or E state, like Egypt or Estonia. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Uh, 24 across, around start of summer, dad attempts to make danishes and cannoli. Nice. G. G. Yeah. Pastries. Pa tries. Pa tries around S. One more. Stories quarterback read aloud. I mean, I know what it is. Yeah, me too. But I don't get the one side of it. What am I missing? I mean, it's a question mark. Oh, the back of a quarter. Never mind. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Will, what a cute little thing. I love. Yeah, super easy. I love that idea. Yeah, I agree. I think it's easy to take for granted at some point when you're far enough along and knowing how to solve that, like, there's still lots of would be cryptic solvers out there who could use some easy breezies and it's also just like a fun thing to like speed through sometimes you know that's what i like the new yorkers for although i haven't been mm-hmm. doing them for a long time but they're fun to just like bing bang boom like speed solve basically yeah. yeah right yeah i agree love it would love to see yep. more will <laughs> nice kelsey uh all right. Well, it's time for a good time. Um this is going to be green light, of course. Uh this is what's a music. I'm going to pause this music and I have to mute desktop audio. Um hope maybe everybody here has played this already. If you haven't, Maybe just let us know and we'll explain. But if everybody here has played it, I won't bother. Yeah. Is there anyone who needs the explanation? 
I rolled over to my computer. For... <clears throat> you scusions to prop yourself up. <laughs> oh, slug. <laughs> slug. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we know, horse girl. We know. Okay, so here's what we do. Um, we come up with a theme for basically a playlist. It's a, it's a, it's a lot, uh, like musically, sort of. We come up with the theme for a playlist. Everybody chooses a song. Then we play snippets of the song, and everybody guesses. And the faster you guess the song, and then, and also the artist, the more points you get. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, so here's where we ask. Uh, here's where we ask for ideas for a theme. Anybody have an idea? Uh, we have one idea. Moms, are you there? I am. Okay. Songs you would do at karaoke with Meat Daddy. 69420. Thank you for the clarification. Uh, Horses and Girls. Uh, songs with Kelsey in the title. Okay. What do we think? Songs with names isn't a bad idea. I believe we've done that. Right? Songs with a day of the week. Moms? Yes. Okay, making sure you're with me. Glenn. Is Glenn right? No, I was trying to open Task Manager because your sound is crackly for me, but I can't oh. open it for some reason. Let me see. Let me see if it's uh, maybe I got to do. Um... Oh, yeah, that's me. Hold Songs on. to make a goose stop chasing you. <laughs> Um, let me pin the link. I mean, I mean, that's true. We don't have to set a theme. I mean, maybe we could end with that or we could do that now. Uh, I'm happy to do one that's totally open to interpretation, like songs to make a goose stop chasing you. What do you think, Moms? Let's give it a shot. All right. All right, songs to make a goose stop chasing you. Mums and I are going to mute. We'll be back.
We're back. Yeah, and you can still join. The link is up there. <clears throat> And Moms, you are, of course, free to join on your own if you'd like. I won't be offended. Uh, LeBron, are you here? Rich? Rich is in. Nice. Oh, wait, he's not going to hear that. Hold on. Did the sounds work, LeBron? All right, we're ready. Here we go. Could you turn it up for me? Sure. <laughs> nice, Kelsey. Slug. Oh, love it. Love it. <laughs> Move, goose. By the way, like people can just see your your guess. Oh, I don't know fuck. If that matters. No, it does. Whoops. Thank you. <laughs> May I don't think anybody's really looking at the window through there because they're because they have right. a browser, but thank you. I forgot. I have to type in this other window. Oops. I'm very smart. <laughs> you squint with your ears it does sound like goose <laughs> what if what if this is how we find out that rich has always thought it was called goosebusters <laughs> hmm.
Whoa. Oh dear. Me, the artist. <laughs> Damn it, meat. <laughs> I can't even hear it, can you? It's just quiet. I'll turn it up. Wow, well, nice. <laughs> Meat, that is very funny, but also, <laughs> God damn that is it. Funny. Way to go, slug. Is this joke too obtuse? I I don't know. Maybe people will know what you meant by it. Yeah. Oh, wow, Kelsey. Leave moms alone. Leave Kelsey alone. Hey. No. Hey. LeBron. Jesus Christ, Will. <laughs> Molly Crew. Oh, Swamp Dog. Mm. Hey, Puzzle John. You made it. We're going to do more after this. Yeah, welcome in. What? <laughs> Again, I thought they, I thought it put them together. Yeah. Maybe it's on a different album. I'm waiting for Slug to guess Lazarus again. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's on a different album. Nice. Hey, LeBron. Nice work, Rose. Way to go. Nice work. Bagel. Good job. Uh, all right. Let's do... Another one, we'll do the Meat Daddy karaoke theme. How about that? Nice. Songs you'd do at karaoke with Meat Daddy. 69420. I will mute me and Moms. We'll be back. Um, if anybody's new 
Hey, MF words. We're doing more rounds like this one. If you need an explanation of how this works, let us know. But um, basically, just pick a song that matches the theme. Oh, meat, meat asked. To, asked wait to a minute. Bleed. That's fine. Meet. Let us know what when you're we back. make the last. What should we make the last theme, by the way, while we're waiting? Should, should we just do a themeless for the last one? That might be fun. We could. Unless, does anyone have a, an idea for a theme? Yeah, since we're waiting. <clears throat> oh, meat has returned. Oh, why don't I see that? Oh, it's oh, the- it's in that chat. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Shaq. You can't hear it, Kim? Are you which window do you have it open in? Yeah, there's a it's its own volume in the upper right. If you've joined the room, I think I mute it for stream or else people will hear it double. Nice. Do you hear it now, Kim? <clears throat> Yay. Same meat. Especially like the private karaoke rooms. That was a lot of fun. Kim. <laughs> meet daddy's answer. Hey, Dad Gum, if you want to join us, there's a link up pinned at the top. Yeah, you're welcome. This is a music game. Has JM ever, JMSR ever played this with us? I can't remember. I'm not sure. He has like a categorical knowledge of music. He does. I bet he'd be very good at it. Mm hmm.
Nice slug. Great choice, slug. I know we just heard I'm that a few minutes ago, but I didn't know the name. Hmm? I'm guessing the only reason it wasn't Bjork, Kelsey, is because I'm here. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's not it. Whoa, slug. <laughs> nice. Bagel. <laughs> Everything I know. <clears throat> wow, nice job, Bagel. Nice job, Meat. Nice job, Kelsey. Round of applause. All right, let's do another. Does anybody have an idea for a theme? Or would you want to do a themeless? Nice job, Kim. Kim, that's a great one. All right, Mums and I are going to mute to choose.
Uh, if you're here and you haven't joined, there's still time. This is a great theme, Kim. Yes, very fun. No apologies for your choice. Slug, who would ask you to apologize? Specifically before we even heard your choice. Shocked frog calling shocked frog. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Okay. <laughs> nice game. Slug. Oh, Slug, I love it. Nice. And Blink 182. It's funny to see the artists out there like that, listed like that. It is. Mm -hmm. Artiste. <laughs> nice slug. <laughs> that is great slug. Also Amadeus. <laughs> I'm imagining you like snake charming the ice cream back onto your cone. What's a song mean? <laughs> the slug tries again with the dollar I, sign. The dollar sign. I love it, slug. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, Dad, no real judgment. Just funny to see Rungus's. Oh no, what? Wait, what? What happened? 
Meat got the artist. <laughs> is it? Oh my god, it is. Wow. Oh, wow. Soul coughing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice one. <laughs> what? Nice. <laughs> nice choice, Kim. Mm -hmm. Also mm. nice. Oh, wow. It tells you if you're close on the title. Who is it telling that? That's such a good cover. Same meat. Oh, hover the optimist slug biker. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> slug, you've been asked. Wow. Bagel wins again. Nice job, Puzzle Very B. John. Nice, nice job, Shocked. Well, well done, everybody. Uh, all right, everybody. Let's do the beaver. Yeah. Fancy. Rose, it's super fun. Commonize. Yeah. Oh, well, slug wasting no time. I had no idea Common, what was going on. Commonize. Ionize. Ozone. Ionic. 
Moon Man, Economize, Commence, Cone, Conic, Iconic. They didn't take Iconic. Hmm. Moon Men. Mom. Yeah. Memo. Memo wise. Bagel. <laughs> Cocoon. God damn it. Mono. Cum. Whoa. Zoom. All right. Nominee. <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> Momo Snail Corner. Innocence, nice. Innocence, Koozie. Yeah, Koozie might be on there. Oh, Kim. Hi, Aww, Petal. We love you, Petal. Icon and Iconic. Yeah, if I said something, but it didn't make it onto the screen. I think I got everything, I but yeah, if not. I, I don't know. It seems like maybe a lot of things weren't accepted. Mnemonic, absolutely. Nice Good job. Zoic. Zone. Conmen. Onion. Onionic. Mooney, probably not. Kozen, C O Z E N. Okay, nice. Oh, nice. Comic. Uh, neon. Noon. I tried it, Bagel. Sion. Delene Sion. Mezzo. M E Z Z O. Did you get noon? I did not get noon. Good. Minion. Yep. Oh, you just, just got, got that. It. Four more. I'm gonna you can look at chat. I'm gonna look at the answers. Uh they don't take iconic for some reason, LeBron. Iconize. Uh, three more words, eight points. So I assume a six and two fours. We have zero, four letters. What did you just get? None. You just got them. So a six letter word and a four letter word are left. Gut. Good guess. Koozie. Cumin. Once. All right. Six letter word. Last one. Uh, mommy. Cocoon. Good job, Puzzle B. John. Nice. Very good. Very and good. <clears throat> Thanks for hanging, pals. Again, we aren't streaming tomorrow. We'll be back Sunday night. Um, let's look for someone to raid. Yeah, it looks like Snagawarg is doing word games. I'm not sure what they are, but... Okay. You're so welcome. Well, thanks for making it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, Will. We're not uh, going to be here tomorrow in case you forgot, but we'll put it in Discord. Yep. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.